Okay, here we are, crew, with Chef Rebecca down at Deer Valley. How are ya? I'm great, how are you? I'm stoked. What's going on? Like, private chefing in the mountains. Crazy life, isn't it? It's, not, it's pretty awesome. Yep. I come in, I do breakfast, I let my guests ski out the door, put their boots on right next to the kitchen, and off they go. Oh, amazing, beautiful. The kitchen's unbelievable. I'm a very lucky chef. Oh yeah, this you are. This is my are. kitchen. You are. When I'm here, it's uh, my kitchen. Like, we've got a bit of a spread going on. We're gonna cook some breakfast. We're gonna have a bit of a feast. We're, We're just gonna do gonna... an American breakfast, a traditional American breakfast today. I know, I know. As if I haven't had enough. Look <laughs> at me. Continental breakfast would be eggs, bacon, sausage, mm. fresh fruit, some kind of pastry. Yep. Like croissants are really popular. I do a lot of muffins and scones, uh, which are also super popular. And then we'll do some kind of a special egg dish every morning and some kind of a special uh, sweet dish. So pancakes, um, waffles, which we're gonna make today. Yeah, sweet. We do a lot of frittata, a lot of quiches, um, a lot of scrambled eggs and hard boiled eggs for the kids. But today we're gonna do a frittata. So you chop some parsley and yep. I'll, I'll crack the eggs. How's that sound? Okay, we're gonna do a lazy person's way. We're, we're gonna, gonna do the lazy person's way. Chiffonata. Yep. Do we need much? No, just a little bit. That's nice. plenty. I know. I love my new West Knife Works we'll knives. About those later. Yeah, you're Amazing. gonna go down and visit them, aren't you? I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, yeah I think so. Well, that, yeah. You don't John need too King much. Cook. Okay, right. there we go. That's put that. a little half and half in the frittata, make it creamy. Okay. And you wanna do some ham in it? Little ham steak. Yeah. Tell me about it. It's not little. Well, Everything's big in America. Everything's big in America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We like our big things. So tell me more about chefing on the mountains for clients. So we do a lot of private chef services, personal chef services. Um, mm -hmm. So we go into people's homes and um, and cook on site for them and we'll create um, a custom menu for them. So today's custom menu, you know, I would talk to the client ahead of time and we would decide what we were gonna have. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come on site. We usually get in like an hour to an hour and a half before we're ready to go and start cooking. We start with our bacon, yep. so that's key. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, how are we looking? So that's a lot of prep to do on yes. site. Do you have a commercial kitchen or I something do. like I do, I have a kitchen off site where we do a lot more prep. Yep. Let's put a little ham in there. A little bit of ham. A little bit of cheese. See, miss on plus, so important yes. people. You don't have it, you end up in a gurgler. So, it's all no, gonna be good. able to come we out. We put a lot of butter in there. Yeah, I know, he, he okay. told me to. That's because be like, <laughs> butter is delicious. Do not be afraid of butter. Butter equals Can't flavor, be, yeah, simple. That's right, butter. And I love butter and salt. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right, so you want to make a waffle? Yeah, let's right, do it. Let's make a waffle. Is... Waffles are probably our most favorite, yeah. most popular yeah. breakfast item from Rebecca's Kitchen Got when it. we go on site. Because we use a yeasted waffle batter. We're gonna, I'm gonna tick this up one more notch. Um, this is my favorite waffle iron. I was about to say. And it's the only waffle iron you can use to make a raised waffle. Really? Uh, in a home. I, you know, we don't do the commercial stuff because we can't bring that stuff in. Yeah. Yeah. Once you plug two things into one outlet, boom, blows. gone. Yeah, it's yeah. no good. This is a non-stick waffle maker, and as long as you only put waffles in it, yep. you're good to go. Don't yep. screw around with all the other stuff that people like to waffle. Ah, That'll ruin your waffle waffles iron. Waffles only, baby. Yeah, waffles only. Yeah. This is a waffle only waffle iron because um, it's a good, got a non, good non-stick, and you just have to make sure you wipe it down when you're done. That's and it. the kind of one of the keys to this type of waffle is you leave the waffle iron open for a minute. Yep. 
so that you see all these bubbles coming up. Uh -huh. And then once the bubbles kind of start to come to the top, then you'll close it and finish it. Got it. So, that's so give it a minute. Important part, yeah. Is it? Okay. All right, and this does all the work for me. It's gonna beep at us when they're ready. Not quite ready to flip it. I don't always flip my frittata on time. Say, Should we put the bacon back in the oven to finish yeah. it? Yeah, pass okay. it over. Cool. Yeah. That's not gonna awesome. be hot, no? Nope, it's been out for okay. a little bit. So, so if I wanna flip this one, oh, I've got a couple top. of methods. I'm gonna put a little butter back in this pan and get hot. Yep. Anyone who's done this before knows what can happen. It's so many things. Yeah. I don't know, are we looking for a bloopers reel or are we looking for a regular <laughs> reel? Here we go. Boom! She's on. Wee on. The fluffy. Yeah, and then we'll we'll finish off the bottom and then I'll put the presentation side. It will be the, that side that's on the bottom right yeah, now. Yeah, that beautiful golden yeah. brown. So, Chef, what happens now? I've got bacon in there. We've got bacon in there. We're we'll pull that out in a second. Yep, I need Let's a check. tea towel for that one. I'm going to have to yep. steal your tea towel, Chef. That's what it's for. That's Woo. why it's back there. Yeah. And how many years have you been doing this? Uh, so I've been in business for 12 years. Yep. And um, we built our commissary kitchen in 20. We opened in November of 2020. Yeah, right. So that was the middle of COVID. So that yeah. was exciting. Ah, that. there it is. There it is. Wow. So How do we get now you're not supposed to use the stainless, but I forgot I the waffle to tongs. I have <laughs> them. They're in a box. Okay. Rebecca, let's go have a feast, eh? Yeah, let's go eat. You ready? Let's go do All it. All right, I'm going to introduce you to American waffles. Oh, here we go. Let's go have some breakfast. Yeah. Coffee's brewing. Coffee's brewing. Our waiter's already clocked off. Yeah. This guy's out of control. He did such oh. a, a lovely job of setting the table for That's us. That's right. That's one of the jobs. That's his profession. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to get started on a frittata cutting. Yeah. I'm going to move that across. Do you want me to cut it in the I want you to cut how much chef? you want to eat. Oh. Oh God, you get okay. To, you get to serve your portion up okay, cool. and decide. Well, I'm going small. Yeah, because you want to have a little bit of everything, yeah, right? Yeah, of course, That's yeah. Right. I'll serve you. Thank you. There we go. Get a little rocket on there. Nice. Look at that, that looks great. Okay, young man. Really? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, need to, you need to really... I need to put some yeah, I was just going to say, we kind of need to fatten you up a little bit. <laughs> Waffles. Waffles. You need a waffle. You need a waffle. From what I've heard, everyone yep. needs a waffle. <laughs> Thanks so much for having That's us. Awesome. Thank you so much. This I'm was gonna, super fun. I'm gonna get that guy to come clean. Yeah. I doing yeah. This. Where's that guy? Can Too I get a cleaner in here? <laughs> <laughs> here he comes. It's Miguel. <laughs> Hey Manuel, Manuel oh, from Fozzy so Towers, Manuel. We just we're just gonna we're gonna leave. You're yeah, just gonna mate, clean mate. all oh, this up. Oh, you've been drinking oh, a bloody God. orange juice yeah. again. <laughs>
Hi everyone, here we are, Empire Lodge. Aurora, nice to meet you tonight. Nice to meet you too. Tell me, what's going on here? But before we do that, tell me what your position is here, where so we I are. So I am the Fireside Chef, we're at Fireside Dining. Yep. So at Empire Lodge, we have two different restaurants, one in the day, which is our day lodge, and this is our night function, Beautiful. which is Fireside. And I heard you flip it round. Yes, we do. Yeah. At 2.30, they tend to flip the whole thing, everything's covered. It's a beautiful lodge when you walk in, yeah. like those big pieces of wood. Mm, oh it's definitely my God. a move setter. What's your position here in the kitchen? I am the fireside chef. Yep. So we tend to make, I make the menus alongside with my sous chef, uh, Ricky. Yep. So we all do it together. We run around either 200, almost 300 people per night. What? Depending Huge. on a busy night. It's a little crazy for yeah, us. Yeah. But it looked amazing. So it's, it's a buffet style. Yes. Get so it it's ready. like the French Alps style. Yeah. So we have from the Swiss parts, we have the raclette melting by the fireplace. Beautiful. We have the different stews and soups over here. And then we do have the fire roasted leg of lamb. Yeah. So what are we cooking tonight? Because so I can see stuff. We are stuff. doing pasta. Yeah, let's pasta go. Pasta limon. So how many been for? 13 years. Wow. When I started, wow, I was a cheese that, girl. That's, you were a cheese girl? I was the cheese girl when I started And here. what does that mean? So I was a cook one, barely any experience in the kitchen yeah very very green all i did was hi sir would you like some raclette oh that i was the cheese i girl. saw that <laughs> cool bit of garlic so do a tablespoon of garlic yeah now tell me about your pasta it's all made on premises eh? uh yes it's fresh it's fresh fantastic. pasta fantastic beautiful let's get that garlic going people oh. i'm gonna add the pasta to the water while we're doing this yep so that pasta handmade on premises people it's like everything I see on this on this mountain. Yes. Everything's handmade. Yeah, locally sourced, handmade. So we're using a pappardelle, which is a thicker pasta. It holds the sauce better. When you have a sauce, it's really nice and thick. It sticks to the pasta, doesn't it? Yes, it yeah, does. Yeah, here we go. So we're gonna add a little of half of lemon juice. Yeah, we just a little gonna... of veg stock. A little bit of veg stock. And this is our half made smoked salmon. Yay! Good handfuls of butter. Yeah. Forget about the heart attack, people. We're all gonna <laughs> die at one point. Okay, here we go. So we just let it cook out, milk. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add it to your sauce. Straight out sauce? Yep. Wow. So. So now we're just finishing it. Yep. Yep. John Cantos, boom. Now we're gonna have some Parmesan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So it's just a creamy white sauce with mm -hmm. a fair bit of butter. Oh yeah, pretty tangy man, pretty tangy. We can leave it with you to finish up. Yep. Thank you so much. Hey folks, our time is done and dusted here at the wonderful and splendid Deer Valley. Oh my God, bluebird nearly every day, and we got fed big time. And I learned how to ski. Bang! We got fed a lot, man. How are all those restaurants, all the beautiful on-piss locations? Just sensational, yeah. Justin. Oh, every single bit of food was wonderful. Come down, folks. It's awesome here.